Now, the county registrar says they still have about 275,000 votes left to count, but we are trending towards historically low voter turnout for this primary. So far, just 22% of San Diego's registered voters have had their ballots counted. That's out of about 426,000 votes that were counted by mail-in. 51,000 votes were at voting centers over the last few days. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell is live outside the Registrar of Voters Office right now. Danny, you spoke with a professor of political science about these early turnout numbers. Good morning, Jerry. That's right. And she says that this is actually a trend that we are seeing across the nation, right? Roughly about a 25% voter turnout rate. So these numbers for Californians and even for San Diegans aren't really anything unusual. What she says it really points to overall is that this has really been a low energy election and it largely has to do with something that she describes as the power of incumbency. I think it's really hard for newcomers to break into politics because, again, incumbents have so many advantages of name recognition. They're often better fundraisers. Money is so important in politics as well as trust and name recognition. And so I think it's very difficult for um, a lot of new faces to appear and get traction and become well-known or well-liked by voters. So we're seeing this really from top to bottom of our ballots, starting with the presidential race, all the way down to the city of San Diego's mayoral race. Beal says Mayor Todd Gloria is ahead because he's well situated between his four challengers and their political parties. And as a Democrat, he's naturally winning those party votes. It's important to keep in mind that while the outcome likely won't change, ballots are still being counted. So the next time that the registrar's office says they'll be releasing updates is this Thursday at 5 p.m. They're going to do it from Thursday until Saturday at 5 p.m. every single day. And then after that, for the following week, they'll be releasing updates from March 11th through the 15th, and they'll be doing it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of that week. Live outside the County Registrar of Voters Office, I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.